I don't practice yoga, but I've incorporated yoga in uh, a lot of my. Uh, we know what your okay <laughs> shape is like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm very serious about the desserts and all because uh, 10 साल में शायद मैं गलत हूँ जमाल को ये ज़्यादा पता होगा. But just like cigarette smoking is injurious to health, happens. Uh, very soon there's going to be white sugar is injurious to health, and then maida is injurious to health, and then there are going to be a list of things. So you might as well stop now, so you can live longer and healthier lives. So one of the things that men's health, uh, a men's health study found, sorry, uh, you got direct uh, advice from John. <laughs> yes, so we need to audition you for men's health cover every month. <laughs> what is one of the studies? So one of the studies that Men's Health found recently was that sugar is the one substance, one food group that you that a man can do without for the rest of your life, yeah. and it will not make any difference. So you must eat a balance of all food groups, but sugar, white sugar, is something you should consume. So if you want to consume sugar, consume sugar consume, then fruits have fructose, which yes. is a great form yes. of sugar. There's other ways of having. Sugar. Other ways of having um, the sugar. Okay, fantastic question. Uh, I don't practice yoga, but I've incorporated yoga in uh, a lot of my uh, daily routines that I perform. For example, my lower back is uh, is prone to injury. So when I work my lower back, I do something called a chakrasan. Chakrasan is when you do an arch. Now that's one of the most difficult things for a man to do. I'm six one. I weigh at about ninety one kilos. So in a country filled with branches, I am a bark. You know. So what I'm saying is, it's huge. So I uh, try and incorporate a lot of yoga moves in my uh, like pranayam, chakrasan, ashtanga. You know, like there are certain moves that I have uh, vajrasan. When I want to stretch my quadriceps, I get into a vajrasan pose, and from there I stretch my back out. So I incorporate a lot of yoga moves in my functional training, in my strength training. So it's a combination of TRX, Pilates, yoga, functional, strength. जैसे आप खाना बनाते हैं ना उसके अंदर सब कुछ डालते हो आप तो मेरे को tasty. I enjoy my workouts. I love going to the gym. Pardon me. I don't. I don't. I don't. Sorry. How fit is? How we as a nation? How we as a nation? How fit are we as a nation? Um, you know the concept of fitness is picking up in India, but we we are not yet. We are far away from being super fit. We need more people to advise us uh, rightly, and not because I've done the cover of Men's Health. Uh, please don't misunderstand. I really recommend you read a good magazine like Men's Health to understand what you need to eat, what you need to do. How you need to work out? Like she's hurt her leg, for example. You know, how could she have avoided injury on a knee? Maybe glucosamine chondroitin would have been a good, you know, a solution for her, where her joints don't get hurt. I don't know what your issue is. What have how you hurt your leg? She fell down. Okay, need balance, balance exercises. But what I'm saying is, it's very important to understand your body. And we as India, we don't have the best food in the world. As far as fitness is concerned, we need to really stop eating fried food. That's the first move. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I am uh, completely against uh, what the censor board has uh, said right now. Absolutely against. It's stupid, ridiculous. um i think a country that can ban india's daughter can ban anything right now so i just believe that you need to release films i understand that uh, there is a value of censorship that you do need to adhere by and i respect that because we are a country with very strong cultural values but you can't ban everything you can't stop calling bombay bombay if you want to i mean you are being plain stupid so there are certain things that we we really have to correct and i'm sure Uh, as an association the actors the producers exactly feel the way i do and they are they are taking steps in the right direction to correct all this and i say to correct all this you want to just give your name and 
Uh, well, I think uh, I think uh, see I saw I saw India's daughter myself. I've seen it not once but twice, and I tried to find something objectionable in it. And I believe not only should that uh, documentary be shown, but it should be shown in as many languages across this country to make people aware of the mentality of people in this country and what can be done to correct this. So I feel. Banning it is uh, being ashamed of uh, the mistakes we are making. I think it's important to confront them and make sure it's out there in the open. It's very important to show this.